In this channel, we focus on elevating and elevating in a way that gives people the potential to not deal with this bullshit when this bullshit happens, right? That's the name of the game. How do I fucking do whatever I want when this shit hits the fan? Because inevitably it will and it does. It does over and over again in history. The thing is, you're too dumb to recognize and see the patterns of the stuff that continues to happen in front of you. First of all, before we watch this, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, okay? If you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. There's some movies that are worth watching, okay? And this is My Dinner with Andre, 1981. Okay, check this shit out, bro. I'm about to red pill you. This thing's so awesome. We're all bored now. But has it ever occurred to you, Wally, that the process that creates this boredom that we see in the world now may very well be a self-perpetuating, unconscious form of brainwashing created by a world totalitarian government based on money, and that all of this is much more dangerous than one thinks? And it's not just a question of individual survival, Wally, but that somebody who's bored is asleep, and somebody who's asleep will not say no? See, I keep meeting these people. I mean, uh, just a few days ago, I met this man whom I greatly admire. He's a Swedish physicist, Gustav Bjornstrand. And he told me that he no longer watches television, he doesn't read newspapers, and he doesn't read magazines. I wonder why. He's completely cut them out of his life because he really does feel that we're living in some kind of Orwellian nightmare now and that everything that you hear now contributes to turning you into a robot. Bro, and that was 19 fucking 81. Imagine today, bro. Imagine the control that these guys have, bro. When I was at Findhorn, I met this extraordinary English tree expert who had devoted his life to saving trees. Just got back from Washington, lobbying to save the redwoods. He's 84 years old. He always travels with a backpack because he never knows where he's going to be tomorrow. And when I met him at Findhorn, he said to me, where are you from? And I said, New York. He said, ah, New York. Yes, that's a very interesting place. Do you know a lot of New Yorkers who keep talking about the fact that they want to leave but never do? And I said, bro, I know so many people in New York, bro. They're like, yeah, bro. And they mentioned all the bad shit about it. But I'm like, no, but I can't leave, bro. I can't leave. They're fucking yes. slaves, bro. He said, why do you think they don't <laughs> leave? I gave him different banal theories. He said, have you, if when you travel overseas, bro, you actually realize this shit's crazy, bro. Like you're literally trapped in these fucking brick cubicles. 24 seven with your fucking fluorescent light and your genetically, genetically modified fucking food and your smog and your toxic air and all the stress and all the anxiety and all the Wi-Fi signals and all the bullshit and all the propaganda and all the fucking weird stuff that happens in these major cities. People are forced mentally. They don't even understand to be put in these situations. It's fucking crazy. Now theories, he said, oh, I don't think it's that way at all. He said, I think that New York is the new model for the new concentration camp where the camp has been built by the inmates themselves and the inmates are the guards and they have this pride in this thing they built. They've built their own prison and so they exist in a state of schizophrenia where they are both guards and prisoners and as a result, they no longer have, having been lobotomized, the capacity to leave the prison they've made or to even see it as a prison. Bro, the moment you tell somebody any sort of truth, right, that goes against their world fucking view, bro, they, they mentally can't take it. They cannot handle the potential that they are living a life of slavery and that they've been lied to. They cannot comprehend that. It, it goes beyond their fucking little small peewee brains. And then he went into his pocket and he took out a seed for a tree and he said, this is a pine tree. He put it in my hand and he said, escape before it's too late. See, actually for two or three years now, Chiquita and I have had this very unpleasant feeling that we really should get out. And we really should feel like Jews in Germany in the late 30s. Get out of here. Of course, the problem is where to go because it seems quite obvious that the whole world is going in the same direction. It's facts, bro. The entire world's getting absolutely eaten up, bro. It's getting chowed up. 24 seven by all the bullshit. I mean, bro, look at it, bro. In in a month, they told, they told, they shut down the entire world. In a month, they shut down the entire world. They told you two weeks to curb the spread or whatever it was. And now it's been two and a half fucking years. A ton of lies, a ton of bullshit, a ton of money spent, destroyed economy, destroyed small businesses, destroyed entrepreneurship careers, destroyed relationships, a ton of fucking suicide, a ton of depression, a ton of overweight people, a ton of bad habits foreign pornography through the fucking roof, idle minds, men dumb as fuck as they've ever been, weak as fuck as they've ever been, TikTok exploding, all these bullshit ass high dopamine apps, right, are taking off. And what do people have to show for it? They're still fucking broke, they're still poor, the stimulus check worked for nothing, and now they're sitting there with empty hands asking the government 
for more, even though we have 20 fucking percent inflation rate. It's absolutely insane. And all of this is due to one thing, the lack of knowledge and the lack of information. Most people do not have it. And anytime you mention it, they'll, they'll scoff at you and laugh at you, not understanding that the only ones that are truly free are the ones that are educated and understand how the world actually works. So that's up to you. It's up to fucking you to do that. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys haven't watched that movie, make sure you watch it. Gives you a perspective, bro. This came out in 1981. People have been thinking about these ideas for a long ass time, bro. For a long time. It's not new concepts. It's new concepts to you guys because you guys are just now getting fucking unplugged.